Walk through those doors today. Somebody asked me, how are you feeling? I feel ready. Ready like people in this city are ready. Across the city. Ready to push forward again. Ready to embrace a vision that will last us for generations. People in this city are ready to set aside the political drama and disagreements that hold us back and we're ready to leave that baggage behind. We've had a tough few years, not just in Stanford, but across the country, and we've managed okay. But now we're ready and we're anxious to figure out what's next. I'm ready. I'm ready to lead this charge as your mayor. We can't continue to just go through the motions anymore. We can't drift and wander and find our future by neglect. We have to figure out where we're going in this city. And the first step in that is to reconnect with who we are. Let me tell you who we are. Stanford is a city of families. It is a city for families. Stanford is Tony Yuva, his sister Rika. It's the Yuva family that's run this restaurant for 24 years up here on High Ridge Road, working six days a week, just like my folks did in our Chinese restaurant when I was growing up. The Yuvas are the best of who we are. They have a tight family across generations here in Stanford. They've been tough and resilient in this very difficult economy. And they run this restaurant honorably in service of our community. When I look at Tony and his sister, it reminds me of me and my sisters. The sacrifices that our family made and the sacrifices that families across this city make every day for one another. And if that's who we are, Sasha's having a very good time with that. <laughs> Here comes the punchline, kid. <laughs> if that is who we are, think of who we can be. All of our families across the city coming together to build the finest small city in America. When I think of Stanford's future and who we can be, I see a city where parents like us can confidently send our kids to great schools and raise our children here. I think of children growing up in Stanford and then someday returning here to raise families of their own. I think of parents and grandparents staying in the homes that they've invested in, staying in the neighborhoods and retiring there in the neighborhoods they know so well. I think of one larger family of people, from the young people that live in apartments downtown to the seniors debating world affairs at the senior center, bound together by a common ambition to be better. This vision can be real. We can do this. We're ready to do this together. And that's why I've started work on a plan I call Stanford 2020, a city for our families. By 2020, the year 2020, Stanford will be the finest small city in America for families. In my first 100 days, we're going to have town hall meetings across the city, and we're going to talk to people that live in our neighborhoods, and we're going to encourage them to focus on infrastructure, on education, public safety, small business, and asking difficult, important questions about affordability. How can we make it work in this town when it becomes ever more expensive to live here? And by focusing on those five key areas, each neighborhood in this city is going to write their own 2020 plan. By the end of my first year in office, every neighborhood will have drafted that plan, and I will appoint a cabinet-level director of community and resident affairs to put that into action. Now, some people... No, Bob, look, look, look at all these people. Look at all these people. They want to hear you speak. No? So this is actually um, a good example of um, how tough it can be sometimes. And some people 
have asked me, you have a great young family. Why you want to do this job? And for us, um, it's pretty simple. <coughs> Stanford is our home. Stanford is literally the ground in which Liz and I have anchored our dreams and our future. Eleanor and Penelope and Sasha, they're going to be raised here. They're going to go to school here, and they will always call this city their home. We know it's going to be hard. It's probably going to be harder than we could even imagine today. But we've never been afraid of hard work. The Yubas, my parents, that's never scared them off. We've always done what we have to do to make it happen for our family. And that's why we're here today at home in Stanford, ready to begin this campaign for Stanford's future. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you everybody for coming. I think we have some pizza, right? Yeah.